Today, we embark on a journey to understand why certain parts of our planet are lush and others are deserts. It all starts with the distribution of precipitation around the globe. Near the equator, we see an abundance of rainfall. This is because the intense sunlight heats the air, causing it to rise and cool. As a result, the capacity to hold water vapor decreases, leading to frequent rainstorms. In contrast, around 30 degrees north and south latitude, conditions are strikingly different. Here, the descending air warms up, increasing its ability to hold water vapor, which means these areas remain dry. These dry and warm conditions are perfect for evaporation, further decreasing the availability of fresh water. This is why some of the world's largest deserts are found in these latitudes. But why do these patterns occur? It's all about global wind circulation cells. These cells dictate where the air rises and falls, directly influencing climate patterns. Other geographical features like the size of continents, ocean currents, and mountain ranges also play crucial roles. They can redirect, block, or enhance precipitation in different regions. For instance, mountains can act as barriers that force moist air to rise, cool, and release its water as precipitation on one side, leaving the other side dry and arid.